So mashing went well. We brought in 305 pounds total of grain, which went through our mill and flex auger to our grist case. And then from our grist case through our hydrator as we mashed in, uh, getting those grains nice and wet and mixed in well with our strike water as we create our mash. We hit our intended mash temperature of 152 degrees. So now we'll continue to agitate in the mash with paddle mixers for a whole 60 minute mash. The last 20 minutes of mash will bring up temp from 152 to 168 to hit a mash out temperature. And then we'll transfer to our lauder ton to start for loft and separation of our liquid from our grains. So now we've started our lauder transfer from our lauder ton to our kettle and we're utilizing our auto lauder transfer program. Uh, so we're able to set the flow rate set point that we want to transfer at and you can see that is at 4 GPM. From there we are able to control the lauder pump to hit our intended flow rate for that transfer. We're also able to then set our total kettle collection, you can see that's at 190 gallons. Then with our first wart at 100 gallons, once we reach that 100 gallons, we'll start sparging in our lauder ton to run our sparge rinse on our grains and do that at the same flow rate we transfer at. This program automates and controls all those flow rates and quantities throughout the process for a nice consistent even transfer. So we've started our knockout process going from our whirlpool through our plate heat exchanger and into our fermenter. We're trying to go from close to boiling temps in our whirlpool down to fermentation temps. We're aiming to hit 64 degrees into the ferment fermenter for a start of fermentation on this one. So we'll use our plate heat exchanger for that cooling process. So we have CLT cold water flowing through one side of our heat exchanger and hot wort flowing in the opposite direction across all the plates cooling it off. Uh, so you can see we're basically coming out at 62 degrees. So we'll adjust the flow slightly to get our 64 degrees that we intend to fill the fermenter. So this is our auto knockout program so that we're able to control our cold water through our heat exchanger, which is running through the knockout pump. We're able to control speed on that pump to hit our intended knockout temperature. Uh, so there you can see we're just setting our temp set point at 64 degrees and it's controlling our knockout pump speed to hit that set point as we go through our heat exchanger.